everyone and welcome to the third edition of our 2022 webinar from the house of movie my name is aditya and i'm the corporate communication manager at movie and i'll be your host today now before we start i would like to request the audience to keep posting questions in the q and a chat only we will address them at the end of the session with this i would like to take this opportunity to give you a quick overview of movie now founded in 2011 Movie is headquartered in New York and was founded with a vision vision to disrupt the global video and audio streaming market. Today, we stand as one of the leading players in the streaming platform service space. Now, while a twist with time has led us to development of multiple products with several more in the pipeline, our key product, Movie One, offers an end-to-end solution to launch your own customizable, agile, scalable OTT and streaming live platforms with zero coding. Now, let's get on with today's webinar. Now, over the top or OTT media revenue is expected to reach over 210 billion US dollars by 2026. That's more than double of the 106 billion generated in 2020. The industry has experienced a massive growth over the years, with revenues growing exponentially from 6.1 or 6.1 billion US dollars in 2010 to about 10 times that amount in 2020. Now, this rapid emergence of new OTT channels and platforms, along with good content offering from media houses. around the world has triggered a new consumer phenomena the phenomena is high churn volume with audiences jumping from one platform to another like they are window shopping it has become increasingly challenging for the tech heads behind the platform to come up with the next slick feature to attract attention and manage the influx and outflows now the one thing we know about the concept of virality and popularity is that there is no set expectations from the content or a particular ui style and there are varied reasons for it ranging from the attraction of the latest big ticket re- releases curiosity to explore alternative content uh, content libraries to watching live sports ott users just need a reason to switch and how quickly they do so ott players have understood at least this much and only by introducing a rapidly adaptive services offering a ne- an, and a never ending content library and increased content access points they cannot hope for their audience to stick user management hence takes a center stage and thus it becomes imperative to understand how audience in terms of demographics categorization of users user authentication user category case studies and strategies for user retention now having categorized and understood your customers platforms are now implementing customer acquisition and engagement strategies to capture the lion's share of the market customer retention is a combination of strategy and activity that companies use to increase the number of repeat customers or increase revenue and profitability from existing ones and after customer acquisition the second most hardest yet important task is to retain your customers now this helps you from engaging your existing customers into repetitive buying of products and services that they value on a long term basis instead of letting them consider the idea of switching to a competitor now these strategies also enable a company to nurture your customers and turn them into a permanent and loyal ones It's pivotal for any business to have a customer retention strategy in place in order to succeed against peers and competitors. Now there are few sectors that have high retention rates such as professional services, streaming and media services industry, hospitality industry to name a few. To give you an estimation the Statista report in 2018 stated that the media and professional services industry had a highest customer retention rate of nearly 84% while most of the industries such as IT, telecommunication, consumer services have a customer retention rate of above 65%. No doubt that in order to secure a position amidst this such strict competition, you must focus on customer retention strategies for your business. Now to give give you more impo- information on this and to help you understand the topic better, we have Zeeshan Anjum, product manager at Movie. Zeeshan is a product manager with 8 years of experience. He joined Movie amidst the pandemic and was responsible for the growth strategies of the OTT SaaS platform. Previously, he has worked in the education and healthcare sector and has built various products from scratch while achieving a good product market fit. Now, apart from work, he is actively mem- uh, he is actively mentoring college graduates and building products for the society. He also teaches coding to school students over the weekends. Fun fact: he loves to talk and discuss about startups and business ideas. <laughs> Thank you, Zisha. Now over to you. Thanks, Aditya. For, for, yeah, thanks, Aditya, for this great uh, introduction. Yeah, I, Zisha Anjum, welcomes you all uh, on behalf of Movie. dot com uh, in today's webinar. 
in today's session we will discuss about various strategies uh, around the user uh, user management and how to manage users right so we will uh, first understand like why there is a need of uh, such managing uh, a strategy for managing user efficient in an efficient way and we will see like if we manage users now what's the goal that as a uh, like admin you will looking for and there's a ways of signing up on the platform and the ways of managing those users on the platform and for all those uh, ways variation combinations and permutations or the need of the industry and there is a one stop solution uh, we can see uh, what the solution is and we can have a demo at the end yeah as aditya said uh, right uh, that there is a huge opportunity and market uh, in the otit industry and it is expected to be 210 billion us dollars by 2026 right now uh, let's see like uh, why uh, we need such a like system to manage uh, users in efficient way as you refer the uh, this graph uh, that we are seeing on a screen it can be observed that users are going to be increased by twofold worldwide by 2026 right so this will uh, going to create uh, this will going to create and boost in the uh, ott industry significantly and uh, this this great leap in the user base need updated and advanced version of managing users now uh, for so much diverse use case around the industry uh, we can see like one if we come up with a one strategy or a one way of handling those uh, use cases or need of the market we cannot fit right so because as the one si size like not fit at all right so uh, we have to uh, like build up ourselves in order in order to in with the ever evolving need of the users around this right and one way of managing users is not enough of course now uh as a user so now we discuss what how the by the goal of managing users so as user lands up on the home page of any software or a or or already platform the user starts searching for the content for of their interest as soon as uh, the user wants to uh, play the content at that time there's a high chance that user will sign up on the platform and pay for the content yeah while uh, yeah so while signing up as an platform uh, one unique identity is associated to that user right and all the billing uh, recommendation of the content is uh, given around the uid to that user now uh, we need a robust user man system uh, through which we can track the uh, status of the user let's suppose one user comes on the platform and signs up and uh, while signing up uh, so while signing up they uh, start in the start the in the free trial state and once the uh, once the subscription got expired right so there's a various states of the user management or while uh, when when these are coming on our platform so as a marketing team uh, or we need to sell our plan or we need to mark capitalize on those users so accordingly uh, with our robust user management system we can track those users about their status and accordingly we can uh, like strategize our uh, plan plan around that yeah now moving to the next slide so here we are going to discuss about like various ways of signing up so first uh, is using uh, email and this is the most common way and uh, conventional way of signing up almost all software platforms have this type of signing up process right you must seen uh, across the like platforms by this uh, by this user uh, like use their email id and use their password for signing up on the platform and uh, by this way the admin of the platform will get an email id as a kind of a identification Uh, or a like a medium to get uh, to set up a communication channel for all the marketing purposes right but nowadays uh, we have almost like using uh, hundreds of uh, we have almost hundreds of account on various platform across like uh, which leads to almost hundreds of combination of email and passwords so it's become very hard to remove the password so nowadays uh, like it's really struggle to to get uh, like remember those passwords right so and now this come up with a so way that where we cannot uh, need to remember the passwords right 
so they come of the signing through the mobile number so when one uh, user when use uh, uh, like a method for signing up on the platform through mobile uh this is uh this is the uh, most common way of signing up on a b2c uh platforms yeah and the main plus of this is like signing up or uh like uh so signing up or login in the user uh, will not need to remove the passwords and user can easily put the mobile number and like will get the otp on the phone and they can by using this uh by, by after authentication they can just log into the platform so there's no need of remembering password big passwords or yeah so it's very easy uh, to use in terms of user experience and it just it adds uh, a cost a little cost to of the sms gateway that does you to send otps to the mobile numbers right and now the more mo more latest way of signing up is the ssos and it is the i can say this is the most quickest way to signing up uh and the use of the sso is like increased significantly these days because when i uh, you if you visit any other platform you will must see and there's a google button apple button and facebook button at least these three buttons uh, on the platform right which uh, through which you can get uh, the access of the yeah the user can get login through those yeah by login using sso admin will get the uh, admin will get the name and email id of that user as a response for those uh, So for those who are unaware about what SSO is, so let me uh, take a chance to understand. This guy, in a simple words, what SSO mean. So SSO means for single sign-on, and uh, it lets user directly sign into the platform. If user already signs in as an entity provider, let's take an let's uh, okay, let's uh, like see an example to understand it more clearly. So uh, take an example of Android phone. If user is already logged into the phone. using google account right now if there is an app and user wants to log in so there is a button of continue with google right when user clicks on that button so the app will check like whether the account or whether google account is already logged on the device or not or the in case of website is already logged in the browser or not if it is already logged in just by single click it will take the author it will use that uh, token or some uh it will use that token and con- 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 like configurations and thus directly logs into the user by the google account into the platform so within seconds when is doing a login so when there is a lot of options so once a user come on the platform showing uh like by seeing up an sso option right up front of them so there is a higher chance that user will uh, click on google as and directly log into the platform once they log in now they become a lead now they lead now you can uh work on those leads to convert as a paid users and it's like very uh very famous now nowadays now uh yeah so now let's uh move uh to see like how uh there's a lot of ways that we manage users on the platform after signing up so let's took a uh, let's take a look on how uh, the admin will manage users so first is the most common way right where there's a one user id and for id we meant uh, like either email or phone number like one user will get uh, using that one user will get locked into the system right so uh, let's take an example of youtube or twitch right where one account uh, using one account and or one id one user get logged into the system and this is a kind of individual account so when if uh, that email belongs on to me and the what plan belongs to it belongs to me and i purchased and purchased that plan and whatever recommendation i will get i get according to uh, so i according to that uh, for that e- email id so that email id belongs to me that's all you there's only individual user uh, on that account and uh, so of course on a lighter note of, of course like one can share that email and password to their bffs yeah and who will not tell to their bffs <laughs> yeah so now uh, so this is how now coming on the other way uh, next uh, other way of like managing users is like second is like one user with one id there's a multiple users are using that uh, like platform so the one of the great uh, and each of them has uh, their personalized experience so if there's a one email id and there's a five users are using the same email id but they have different profiles and this uh, feature is also known as sub profiles feature and netflix and amazon prime videos are the great examples of it 
as you log into the platform it asks you about like who is watching and upon selection of your profile it shows like all the personal recommendation all the watch history and everything that belongs to you and your profile so within the by using the same account everyone gets a personalized experience but in the previous case here uh, if uh, this because there's a one single account a single email id there's no profile feature so if i share this to my bff yeah and they will also get uh, the recommendations according to my uh, watching behavior so it's not uh, by sharing it will not give us a personalized experience but when we come over talk about the more ott thing this is a more personalized experience so sub profiles plays uh, like a significant role in this yeah uh, now moving uh, to the next slide so where uh, this is the more uh, advanced and uh, corporate use case uh, corporate version of the user management to understand this let's start with one of the uh, kind of a very basic uh, uh, one of the very basic ways like gcp so google gcp is a great example to understand this yeah so as a manager uh, of a company i purchase the corporate plan uh, of the platform right then add all the employees uh, uh, to that account right by doing doing this all the account all the employees uh, will get the access of all the contents that uh, all the plan content that other company purchased for the company paid for a company purchased right so all employees can get benefit of that so company being a kind of a admin controls all the kind of a, uh, like buying the plans and uh, distributing to the user uh, to to their employees or the we can call it, as, call it a sub user so admin as a main user can add like hundreds and hundreds of sub users right and uh, for all sub users will uh, will have different different email ids so no need to create profiles or this so all have different different email ids and they can all access the content which the admin is subscribed to so here uh, this is a great use case of uh, using ott or a video or audio platform within a company where all the employees have their separate accounts and everything is controlled through a central platform yeah now uh let's uh move uh to a uh, fourth way of uh, managing users is uh more uh, targeted towards e-learning platform let's uh, understand it through example right as an e-learning platform uh, so i have a, a course videos that ranging from k12 to uh, humanities engineering psychology and as an administrator of an e-learning platform uh, I want to give uh, access to the subjects or lectures that belong to that uh, students, uh, to that students who opted for it. Like, let's suppose I, uh, like, one is opted for humanities, uh, right? Uh, so, as a as a university, you have uh, the on the on the OTT platform, you have all the courses, like from from every uh, department, from every class. But uh, for a certain uh, a uh, group cohort or class you have a certain type of courses and you want just to give as of those content that you use and not all, all other contents right so uh, by using the user group and the content assignment feature one can easily uh, admin can map the content with a particular group so at the time of registration on the platform student can select their group right and according to the selection of the group uh, the same the content uh, the content that is assigned to the group is assigned to that students now now students now student who is uh, belongs to humanities will only see the course from humanities and not all other content that are on the platform so this is a like uh, e-learning use case now you can see uh, like uh, how the like use cases around the ott industry is driving various user management studies so Oh, you have to come up with uh, more uh, innovative ideas, right? As in SaaS, OTT to perform, it is pushing our limits for coming up with some more innovative ideas uh, to fulfill ever evolving demand of the industry. So, um, catering uh, the needs of the OTT industry. So, movie.com is the one stop solution for all of your needs. Moving ahead, uh, Moving ahead, all of these ideas taking shape as in SaaS OTT platform. Now let's jump directly to the demo of the product. 
Meanwhile, you can put your questions. Uh, if you have any questions, you can put in Q and A. We'll happy to answer those after the demo. So, uh, to get uh, into the movie dot com, uh, so get experience of the CMS. You can directly go on the movie dot com type movie dot com in the URL, and you will get this is a page where uh, it is the step of how what are the features are there and all the brands that were using movie dot com. As well as all the features that we have, uh, there's a, so there's a detail, lot of details that you can go through to understand more about Movie.com, and and we support a lot of uh, we support on almost every other platform uh, in the OTT like industry, so, right? So just you need to click on free trial to get started with Movie.com. So once you click, you will uh, get a sign up page. Uh, right, you just fill your details, and if you signed up on the platform, you will get this CMS. Just you, I've already uh, logged into the system. Now, uh, once you get here, so it has all the uh, like features and all the options to get uh, you started with an OTT platform within a day. So, um, uh, from every uh, like basic features, uh, basic uh, features to the complex features. So, first talk about uh, user management features. So uh, you uh, so before that, how let's see like how you can launch a platform within a day. So you just need to follow the three basic steps. First, you just log into the system, log into the CMS, and and just upload the content through our content uh, manage manage content section, where you can upload all your contents with your metadata. Right. Once you upload those uh, all the audio video contents, right. You need to just attach. Uh, you can just to like edit your uh, template uh, for the website, like how your website uh, wanna look like. So you can just like doing those things, right? And and then you need to, of course, you want to make money off out of these. So there is a subscription plan associated. So you can create one of the subscription plan, and you can uh, as a, you can create one of the subscription and attach to the your platform. So what, anyone who signs up. Or want to see a content? They have to. Or the end user have to buy, pay for the subscription plan, and yeah. So just you, you need to follow these three basic steps and click on preview website to launch your website within with a just a click. So you can see your website is launched. Now uh, see uh, like how uh, now let's see. So I will up upload some of the videos. So these are, I have already or some of the videos, movies on the platform as a just example. Yeah. So you can just it is ready to play. So I just need to log in in order to play the content, play the movie. Yeah. So with, within yeah, just few steps. Now let's uh, more uh, focus on user management. So uh, as a OTT SaaS platform, we always uh, like to give more options to our customers in order to make. Make what they want. So uh, we have one step and two is two exploration feature. So whether they want uh, show all the basic information details as is plan purchase within a single page, or you want to do two different pages, or two different steps in order to get, uh, get those information about those users. Now uh, admin can decide like whether they uh, want uh, email as a method of login and uh, registration, or they want mobile number. So I've selected email. So let me go on the register page. Yeah. So one is over clicking on reg registration, right? So they will see like okay the email field. So I can provide my uh, full name uh, and I provide email password, platform password, and register on the platform using this. And I can uh, opt I, if I, if I want to use mobile number, I can opt for the mobile number. So once I opt for mobile, number, it asks me to indicate the SMS provider. But just it is because to send the OTP. In order to validate or uh, into the login the user, right, or get verification of the mobile number. So once uh, you provide, once you integrate the SMS file, you need to, you will get uh, app URL, send, sender ID, and app key from that uh, SMS provider. You can just put it here, and you can ready to launch your uh, like registration through mobile number feature. So this is two way you can uh, allow a user to register on the platform and. The quickest way that we discussed is SSO integration. So we have already uh, pre-configured uh, some of the SSOs, right? So there's a Google, Facebook, Apple, uh, as well as Microsoft Azure. Uh, so these are the one of the basic 
pre configured as a so on on the platform so you can select one and you can get started uh, within a day just uh, you need to fill these basic details to use it on your platform so there's a client id that you need to put there is a client secret id and there's an api endpoint you need to write yeah. and this is all you will get from uh, the developers.apple.com when you either you create your app uh from your account and you will get these information just you need to copy paste it over here in order to use it so i've already configured apple and google so let's uh yeah go on the registration page and you can see there's the two buttons like apple and google so these are the sso buttons so just by clicking on this i will log into the system so this is how uh so all the ways of registration is there once you get registered right so um so we have our user management section where uh, we see the list of all the listed users and here I, I can see like okay this user is uh like registered and this is type of subscriber and just subscribe to this plan so i can get a one view information basic information about the user who is resting on the platform as well as uh, so there's a various actions i need to uh, i want to perform for that user right so all those actions are listed over here so so it's a kind of a quick uh, every action is on a finger trip a tip to control and uh, manage my all users across the plat platforms whether it's a mobile app web or tv apps yeah so uh and we also support various apps as i said so let's took a lo uh, look so we have a website ios and android app we have fire os app and with this uh we have a tv app suroku tv app and white tv fire tv Apple TV, Samsung TV, LG TV, View TV, Xbox TV, and Windows app. So we are uh, available across all the platforms. So just you need to upload your content and you can get started on all the platforms. Yeah. Now, uh, so this is all about uh, user management, how to manage user on the platform using the CMS. Apart from this, uh, as you see, uh, as you just seen, we have a uh, like robust content management system. So this is the content library where you can upload your, your content, manage your metadata, and all the options related to that, like whether you want to yeah, uh, set up a pay-per-view plan according to that, or you can change, change the videos, you can add your posters, everything you can do uh, here uh, in order to like yeah, appear on the front end. And with this, we have a, a template ga gallery where you can choose your template, customize, using this a no code tool uh, so you can like, click on home page let me show you you can upload your logo which you can just customize all your uh, pages just by using cms within web it's not in much technical knowledge and there's a mobile and tv app you can uh, subscribe to these apps and you can pro and you can publish it from here now we have a robust user analytics section where you can get a uh, details about the users how they are uh, like let's suppose i want to see yeah so how uh yeah how the users are coming from where they are coming what type of subs either subscribe subscription or they just registered or you have deleted some of these so all information we get from here from this we have a robust sanity system also in place also we have a, a lot of moderation method kind of a subscription method and we have a pay-per-view, we have a coupon vouchers, yeah, and a lot of features in moderation where you can use to, yeah, make money out of your platform. Yeah. So this is all about uh, movie CMS in a very quick demo. And for detailed demo, you always contact us anytime yeah, for detailed uh, introduction and knowing about more about CMS. And you can always go on movie.com to read more about it. Yeah. Thanks uh, from my side. Thanks for the uh, the webinar, listening patiently over from last like 20, 25 minutes. Now over to Aditya. Thank you so much, Zishan, for the detailed overview of the movie CMS. Uh, now, before we move on to the Q&A session, I would request the audience to take a minute to quickly answer uh, a poll. Now they are coming on your screen. If you can't see the poll, uh, you can click on the bottom of the screen, the poll button, the poll icon at the bottom of your screen. So Zishan, uh, as a consumer yourself, uh, what is your preferred method of login and why? So as a, uh, as, as a consumer, as an end user, I uh, 
prefer to use SSO because that's a kind of experience that's a very easy method because I do not have to enter anything I do not have to type anything right because uh, most of the time how the our behavior becomes like we all we always logged into the browser we always logged into the mobile uh, mobile phone so whether I'm using web or app right. so I just need to click a single button and just log into the system without typing anything so it's the quickest and most of the easiest and for the lazy person like me it's the <laughs> best way <laughs> to get into the login and start using the platform right uh, from beginning yeah so uh, I think everything about convenience uh, if you wrap it up in one word yeah yeah true cool that's great so I hope you all have answered our poll. Uh, I would like to now open the forum for discussion. Uh, please send any queries in the Q&A chat. Uh, we'll discuss them. Now, we appreciate you for taking out time today to attend this session. And as a small token of appreciation, we would like to give out an informative brochure for you to view later. The link of the handout is now coming on your screens. Uh, Zishan, let's start with the Q&A session in the meanwhile. Yeah, sure. Uh, so the first question uh, coming on the screen sir, can I make user profile features like Netflix and Amazon Prime Video? Yeah, uh, so you can, def by using movie CMS, you can definitely uh, build uh, user profile features. And these user profile features are uh, like, let you, uh, uh, let your end users create various, add various profiles, manage various profiles across uh, on the on your platform as well as these profiles have a uh, uh, like kind of a same experience as the netflix or amazon prime have and it, it always uh, and we have also point customized recommendation as per the profiles so if i am watching a movie uh, action movies so i can get uh like all the recommendation around the action movies if my brother is watching a sports movie so he can get all the like recommendation around that using profiles and we can both use the same plan and same email id and password to log in into the system sure uh how about you uh, you know go into the presentation mode while we you know check on the other questions yeah sure yeah so so the next question is do you have versioning for content management um i'm guessing the audience wants to know if uh, there are various versions available of for content management yeah so content management uh apparently uh so no such versions but you can always come and edit uh the content so you can upload the video so video and there is a metadata so the if, if i talk about content there's a two part of it first is uh, the video or audio file right and second is the metadata associated associated with that so we uh, once you up, upload that then we can always give you a feature to update those over the time all, all banners all videos all associated with that yeah but right. we not keep the previous information understood right uh the next user wants to know does movie come as a white label platform uh absolutely uh listen if you would like to add on to that yeah yeah so movie uh comes to you as a white label platform so you can buy the subscription plan of the movie and we will uh give you uh like all the cms to manage all your content and users and all the billing and everything from there and for the front end you can have website all the mobile app and tv apps all white label in your name you can use it from absolutely. day one absolutely uh add you on to zishan we uh, are a white label platform with enterprise security and uh, we enable users to have uh, you know launch their own customized and uh, scalable uh, and agile platform uh, under their uh, you know label uh, the next question, Jishan, to you is, does movie provide solutions for SMS, IVR, and RBT? Uh, so, uh, for so I, uh, I'm guessing as a login. So, yeah, so IVR and uh, IBT, I didn't understand clearly. It's no, mostly used for a kind of a help center or kind of a, uh, when end users seek a customer consultation or customer can kind of a thing. So then the end users opt for IVR in order to sort their issues, right? And we have, uh, uh, so we have a contact us from where the end user can actually contact to the admin and to answer this question. So we have a, so can you repeat that question once again? Yeah. So does movie provide solutions for SMS, IVR and RBT? Yeah. So uh, we provide options for integrating SMS gateways. So uh, using SMS gateway, you can use it in a multi multiple ways. First, you, you can use it for as a login and registration process. 
second you will uh, use the sms in order to authenticate mobile numbers using otp and uh, third you can uh, use uh, those mobile you can uh, ask the end users whether they want to receive all the marketing information on their mobile number so you can put that uh, kind of a newsletter in email terms you can newsletter but here is called sms sms marketing so if they want to offer sms marketing if they opt it then we'll get the those uh, numbers who want to get sms for uh, like marketing sms's then you can use those uh, sms to send the kind of all marketing messaging to your end users who opted for it so we have support of sms and just you need to configure your gateway to it absolutely you can uh, refer any of the gateway yeah yeah, yeah. of your choice yeah sure uh, so the next question is are there tools for geo blocking yeah we have uh, in the geo blocking feature in the cms uh, from where you can uh, if you want you can directly block a country or even you can block a state and a city so we have a uh, this much level of uh, geo blocking feature right especially useful for people who have content licensing issues for various uh, different regions and geographies yes 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 absolutely so the next question is uh, uh, the the question uh, the audience wants to ask is hope your user management is one of the microservices from movie uh, what is the tech stack for the user management uh, in terms of database and the programming language can you share some light on that uh yeah so could you repeat once again so i can sure. get uh, so yeah, yeah. the user wants to know uh, the audience wants to know if the user management feature is it one of the microservices from movie yeah so like, take it one by with a long question so <laughs> yeah so it, it is a microservices so we have a microservices ar architecture uh, in place uh, and we have also a support of api so we have a, a developer friendly apis so that you can directly use our API to integrate on your website. So if you have already inbuilt, uh, you have al already a front-end website or app, you can directly use our APIs to get, uh, to manage users, to manage content, manage billing, everything can manage through APIs. Right. Next part of it? Uh, the next part was, what are the tech stack of the user management in terms of database and programming language? Mm -hmm. So uh, we are using uh, Vue.js for uh, managing uh, the the front front end and database is uh, so i am not much of a uh, it is microsoft sql mysql yeah sure uh, the next question is there also a feature where you can manage or validate the copyright of a video being uploaded uh, this would be a big criteria for many of uh, you know our clients so we have a drm feature uh, it's a digital right man management so right now, uh, so nowadays, a lot of customers are asking about DRM because there's a lot of piracy issues, issues coming up front. So we have a watermarking feature, we have a DRM, so uh, and so, non, so no one can record the videos or, or you can protect them from copying. And you can get to know more about this from the help articles. We can share that later. Yeah, if you drop your email, we can share more lights on how we uh, provide uh, how we what are the steps you are taking to secure your uh, videos okay. and uh, drm is the most common way that we are uh, like doing our friend for your videos absolutely so yeah uh, you know adding on to zishan uh, uh, movie supports multi drm uh, facility uh, to you know protect your content uh, so yeah so the next question is uh, does uh, one need to upload all data on cms or can be uh, it can be linked through clouds uh, so, as, as I told you, so the two parts of data, one is the audio video content and second is the metadata. Uh, so audio video content, you can link it through CDN because it is available on the CDN. So we are using Amazon AWS CDN uh, by default. But if you want to bring your own CDN, you can always come up with your own CDN with all your movies and all your direct video uh, data on the like we can integrate your CDN into our system that can is doable so we have a feature uh, we have a feature of policy bring your own CDN so through that you can bring those uh, videos and for the metadata you need to upload on the CMS and uh, it's uh, not uh, there's a other ways of uploading metadata also we provide manual as well as uh, we have some automated automated ways of uploading like metadata for multiple movies within a single click so uh, we have given we will give you a, a certain format in excel where you need to write those data or for like hundred thousand movies you can write over there and just we upload to excel and we will 
map all the video contents with that metadata automatically by uploading that uh, yeah, Excel file. You not need to do it manually. Right. Uh, so the next question is: Is it possible to hide a content after uploading? Can I schedule a content upload time? Yes, sure. Uh, you can uh, do that also on the movie uh, right up front uh, because we have a kind of a pre-order concept. So you can upload a content uh, right. Let's suppose a uh, lot of the our customers who are into the uh, live uh, streaming event uh, or kind of a, a musical event they ho hosting. So they push their content uh, like a month uh, before the actual the content goes live and within that time they can actually sell that uh, order which call it a pre-order so you can pre-order uh, you can manage put the content and allow the users to buy it but they cannot view it before a certain time when you when get launched they only able to see those after that but before they can buy it also yeah yeah uh, we'll just uh, wrap up quickly with a few, few last questions uh yeah. the, the person who had asked about the copyright is also asking uh, by copyright i mean how about i host iron man 2 and how will marvel track this isn't this a breach of copyright i mean how are we going to validate if the content is original or who is responsible if there is a copyright breach uh so let me read his question is it mean like uh, uh if i am uploading a iron man movie right yeah. Uh, and it belongs to Marvel, and I'm uploading on my platform. Whether it's a copyright breach or not, right? If so, you don't, uh, I mean, I uh, I would take, like to take the liberty of answering this question. Yeah, uh, sure, to sure. the to the audience, uh, yeah. If you if you're uploading a content for say say Iron Man two, and uh, it's for Marvel and it's on your platform, and you do not have your licensing for it, it is a breach of copyright. Um, and yeah, Zishan, if you want to take it ahead. Yeah, sure. You need to license from the Marvel in order to put it on your platform. If you are putting the Iron Man movie without getting uh, permission from the Marvel, yeah, of course, it's a, they can. You have to put only the original contents. Yeah, so you can or, or you have to contents. license those contents before from the producer. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, yeah, so moving on, another question is, uh, do we have parental control feature for users? Uh, it is uh, uh, also one of the most sought out feature for user management. Yeah, we have a parental control feature in place uh, uh, for our uh, users. Uh, in the user profile, uh, also when there's a when a one family, uh, when you share one email ID and password, there's a five different users and one is my two parents, the, like brother, brother and sisters. There's a kids also, so you can set at what level they can uh, uh, they can watch content too. And the bit of the bit of the parental control system in the movie. There's a configurable. So how you want to configure the parental control, you can configure it in your way and your users will get uh, able to set the parental control uh, for that content and they can able to see only those contents that are allowed to them. Thanks, Zishan. So this brings us to the end of our today's session. Uh, uh, Zishan, if you can move to the next slide. So our yeah. upcoming webinar, Brace Your OTT Platform for the Content Revolution Wave is scheduled for the 23rd of March 2022 and will be presented by Debrata Sahu, a project manager at Movie, and Michael Toadman, who is the Chief Revenue Officer of All Rights. Now please keep a look out of our social media handles and the website for the registration link of this webinar. With this, I would like to thank you all once again for giving us this opportunity to bring you more such informative and value-adding webinars. This is your host, Aditya, signing off. Until next time. Thank you, Zishan, for giving this webinar. Thank you. Thank you, Adit, and thank you, everyone, uh, for giving your precious time yeah, for listening. Thanks. Uh, thanks, everyone, and for more questions, you can always uh, contact us.